Welcome back to the Realistic TRC-1005 receive section. And this radio is coming with a deaf receiver. Uh, let's see what it's doing. Oh, one volt to receive that. Absolutely dreadful. We'll just see whether it's alignment problem first. Because you never know whether they've had finger trouble. First of all, we'll put a whacking great big signal on it. And we'll set up the detector. So I am able to do that. The detector is transformer 4 and we're looking for absolute maximum waveform. That was pretty close to being spot on as it was. So now we'll drop the signal so that it's scratchy and we're looking for 1, 2, 3 and 5. Transformers 1 that's 12 which is 55 harmonic on transmit which you'd do with a spectrum analyzer, which we don't have. Transformer 1, 2, 3, and 5. So we'll just start with Transformer 1. I've got the um, sign, uh, sound admission in front of me. 1, 2, 3, and five and that radio is still as deaf as a post so now we'll do some fault finding okay moving back to the receiver alignment I had to take the bottom screen off which is an absolute pain that's two lots of screens we've had to take off on this radio um, dry joint, the voltage rail to transistor 2 and transistor 3 was not going through from the regulator. Uh, the regulator is IC5, somewhere down there. And in this instance we had a dry joint just there. And that is the voltage feed to resistor 7, resistor 7 feeds transistor 1 and transistor 2, Q1, Q2 on the receiver. So it was as deaf as a post. So now we should be able to just whip through the re receiver alignment. I'll just go back to the page I was on. I'll try not to clonk the microphone too much with the paperwork. So we were doing transformer 1 drop the signal down by the way we're at 3 microvolts transformer 2 transformer 1 sorry transformer 3 And then over to transformer 5. So we'll just drop that off again. Now 1 microvolt. Right, we'll get the screens put back in place. Um, there we have it, that's um, about 0 0.3 of a microvolt you're hearing there. 0 0.2, 0 0.15. One microvolt. We'll set the squelch up in a moment. And there we have the screening can back in place. Okay, the squelch isn't adjustable on this type of radio. I can never remember which ones are are and which aren't, but uh, that's where we are. So, we'll switch it back on.
and we'll turn the signal generator off set the squelch for threshold that's interesting squelch inoperable you wouldn't believe that the inoperable squelch was yet another dry joint I've just did a blanket job, there's a plated through um, it's not plated through is it, it's just um, a tinned plate between the print you've got um, one just there and there's one just there to the top side of the crystal filter and we've got, so there's three of them anyway just in that vicinity which is of course the MT3357 IF subsystem so I've just done those both sides of the board for dry joints so that's three dry joints frequency hopping um, very poor receive because of the power not getting through to transistor 1 and 2 and finally we've got the, um, the squelch inoperable right we'll put it back together and we'll test it again. The final problem with this radio, putting the LCD display back, is we've got it showing 28. And it's 20. 19, 20. So we've got that centre bar on the units digit on all the time. I don't know if there's anything I can do about that, but we'll just have a again look for dry joints. There we go, display now operating as it should do, going to transmit and it says RF out, go back to receive and it shows battery level. They don't ever show signal on this type of model, there is no signal meter fitted. So I'll just put the top lid on. The realistic TRC 1005, we'll just zoom out. Now on its own speaker, got a backlight there, and a volume scroll, channel change, external speak, external microphone, external speaker socket, and the socket high low power at the side, external antenna, charger, and power, which of course we're running it from. So that's now receiving it. Uh, 0.7 of a microvolt and it's now transmitting at 3 watts 3.2 watts and deviation <laughs> is exceeding 2.2 so that's fine there we have it we'll try and do an on the air test later